We haven't done a Women of Letters show in the Spiegel Tent before. No, I'm a long time fan of, long time caller, no, long time listener, first time caller of the Spiegel Tent. Um, and we've always wanted to, but yeah, it took being invited. Or actually just begging you and standing yeah. outside your door, howling, throwing rocks through your window till you let us do it. So thank you. We're really interested in doing our show in as many different spaces as we can. So we've already done it in outdoor theatres, uh, tents at music festivals. Not as nice a tent as a tent. Um, or <laughs> Not a as many hungover people wandering and yeah. going, is in this Gumboots. the door? Yeah. Um, so we're looking forward to seeing how the show translates to a different space. And we are doing something a little bit different to sort of reflect that. We did a show in Perth in, um, in a beautiful outdoor garden. Of course, it rained. 20 minutes, the only 20 minutes of rain that Perth had had, I think in probably 50 years or something, but it was right on our show. So I think That's just even crazy. having a roof is exciting. Describe the Spiegel tent in one word. Ethereal? Reflective? <laughs> Surprisingly intimate atmosphere, uh, given that there's usually four or 500 people in a room, it does still feel like a small group of people sharing secrets that never leave that room. There's a father and son who I think who have never, as far to my knowledge, appeared on stage together or certainly not speaking to or about each other and I think they're going to be quite um, magical. They're going to bring a bit of, I don't know, sentimentality to the evening and there's a couple of, there's a rock and roll streak involved, I think. We might have to tackle a couple of people from the stage. There's a couple of loose cannons, a pair of loose cannons. <laughs> That's a good way of describing them, isn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. so. I don't think they'd be offended by that. <laughs> no, I think they'd be very proud.